Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another demo. Today I have the Emerson 1895 with four blades. Once again, to sum up, this is one of the 100th anniversary sort of limited edition ones. Technically, when you think about it, everything is limited edition. This one wasn't like a one year special or like a out of 500 or a thousand special. They just made these for three years and then discontinued them. So anyways, I'm just going to go ahead for the close up and then we'll get right into this. This is going to be much quicker than the other video, as you can see as well. The lamp is in here because it's just not necessary. You can go to the five blade video, which looks much better because you'll be able to see the blade finish in much better detail. But I really just want to film this and get it done. So here we go, starting off with low speed. Man, it's still pretty quiet. This many blades, I'd say it's a lot more obvious that one of the blade arms is bent up. I can see it much, much better now. Chances are if I can find out which one it is and Find a way to keep track, I probably could knock it back into place. These arms are a lot stronger than a lot of other fans. I'll go ahead now, turn it to medium. And then we'll go turn it to high. Chances are because this ball is an Emerson, that could also be why it's wobbling. Don't really know what this thing's gonna do here on high. It's wobbling, not terrible. You can feel it from all the way over here. Yeah, that sums it up. Go in for the close up. Once again, wouldn't be surprised if there's a lot of wind noise being picked up here with this one. Alright. Now we'll let it spin down. I still really do love this fan. And with the four blades, it really starts to remind me of the older 1895 series. Because obviously they did keep the blade arms the same style as the 1895. I mean, granted, they're they're a bit different. Uh, they're, they're definitely better crafted. The shape is what I mean is the same. Sort of a horseshoe type thing. Just a little bit more decorative, fancy, nice looking, that sort of thing. Overall, though, I really do like this fan. It is truly beautiful. And it's already almost come to a stop. It's slowing down fairly quickly here. And yeah, as for the blade arms, I may try to bend them back. I may not, of course. Uh, as soon as I said it earlier, I was thinking, well, these blade arms are sort of one of a kind, and it'll be almost impossible to find these exact arms, which basically will render this fan as nothing special anymore. So, without it, it's just another legend, really. So, I'm not too sure whether I will do anything about them. I might just leave them because they are too too precious to be lost. And it's not that bad, anyways. And this is one of those fans I'd rather bring out more for display purposes. Not a proper permanent ceiling fan of any means. Yeah, there we go. The fan has stopped. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.